So check this out. One shoe, two apples, a few street signs, and the fantastic movie Boys in the Hood can easily allow you to get more views to your YouTube channel. It's true. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, what's cracking? It's Brian G. And to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification. You'll be on your way. Here's what's up. There's really only two or three reasons why you clicked on this particular video. And by talking about them, it's gonna help you understand what you wanna do to get the views. Number one, you know me. You're a subscriber, you've watched my videos, and that's it. You dig what I do, you clicked. But what if you're a non-subscriber? Maybe you've never ever watched my videos or you've watched a few and you're not sold that they're right for you. Well, you clicked because my title and my thumbnail promised the very thing that you want. And while that may be obvious, there's something happening on a deeper level with the title, with the thumbnail, with the colors I chose and so much more that resulted in you clicking. It's as simple as that. For example, the last video I published, how to grow your YouTube channel fast, in five days has driven over 27,000 views, which in my space and my niche is really fantastic. Now the video and specifically the thumbnail stand out like a sore thumb when we look at other similar thumbnails. You see, most of these thumbnails all have the same design element. They all incorporate a face, they all have a bunch of text. Again, they all have similar design properties and so on, all except mine. And that makes my thumbnail stand out. It makes it get attention and ultimately it leads to more viewers clicking. And that's what you did, right? In fact, if you look at this particular thumbnail here, you'll see it's a play on Nick Nimmin style. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I tell my coaching students to borrow. Amateurs borrow from other successful videos all day long. However, the goal is not to simply copy or steal, but rather to find successful thumbnail designs and use those as a starting point to get a much better result. Your first step when you're crafting your thumbnail and your title is you wanna really focus on winning thumbnail designs. You wanna study other successful channels. Only pay attention to the channels that are doing a great job and you can see clearly they have great thumbnail design principles. And if you're unsure what those are, keep watching, I'm gonna walk you through it. Now this particular video from the Tekken realm is a great example. I borrowed the thumbnail design and made it my own by making just a few small changes along the way. Now if you think that's unfair, well, don't get it twisted. You see, I was inspired by the Tekken realm, who was inspired by PewDiePie, who was also inspired by someone somewhere at some particular point. And as you get started making your own thumbnail, you borrow and that means you're starting the process out with a winning design. It makes it so much easier to craft an amazing thumbnail. And then in phase two, you move forward and create your own unique designs. And as mentioned, your goal is to create something really different from everybody else. For example, if you take my how to grow your YouTube channel fast video, no other YouTuber, to my knowledge, has ever created a thumbnail in this particular style, and it resulted in so many clicks. Here in analytics, I've searched for how to grow your YouTube, and notice all the videos that I've published with this particular keyword phrase. Now, we're interested in this one here, which I published on February 14th of 2019. And here you can see the impressions and click-through rate during the first seven days of this video's release. Notice on day one, the click-through rate was 3.4%. In case you're new, impressions are simply how often YouTube is showing your video to viewers. And the impression click-through rate is how often viewers clicked. So here, the viewers clicked 3.6% of the time. However, let's go ahead and check the same metrics for my newer video, this one here. Notice on day one, the CTR or click-through ratio was 6.2%. That's nearly double. In other words, think about this. Ser seriously, this is really powerful. 
twice as many people were clicking. That means so many more views, so much more watch time. In fact, on day four, the CTR shot back up to 6.2%. Now I should mention, I call this the never seen before video. And the idea is simple. You wanna present viewers and subscribers with a video they've never seen before. In their mind, they have to get excited. They have to be like, wow, that seems weird or different or I've never seen anything like that before in this niche, I gotta watch. And that brings us to our next part. You've gotta identify a keyword phrase to use for your video when you do this method. Here's what I suggest. You wanna target a keyword phrase that is proven to drive crazy amounts of views. As I was planning out this video, the video you're watching right now, I thought about targeting how to stand out on YouTube. And the only thing you've got to do is simply search YouTube for the phrase you might want to target and then pay attention to how many views the top videos have driven. We can see here 14,000 views, 30,000 views, and 25,000 views. Now compare that to how to get more views on YouTube. 91,000 views, 628,000 views, and 234,000 views. Obviously, this phrase is the one we should go with. However, if you're a smaller channel, then you're gonna wanna do this. You're gonna wanna search for that keyword phrase again, and then you're gonna wanna see if there are any other keyword phrases that are suggested by YouTube. And we've got all these keywords that begin with the exact keyword phrase that can lead us to so many views. However, they're just a bit longer. 2019, fast. Fortnite or gaming channel. And it's just that easy. So now you've got your keyword phrase and you can start crafting and creating a few notes for the video you'll film and publish. And as you can see, I created a bunch of different thumbnails based on what I felt would really stand out and win the click. Now here's something to think about that nobody's talking about. It's not the thumbnail. It's the message the thumbnail creates. Now, you want the thumbnail message to be weird, strange, unexpected, or different. And PewDiePie's thumbnail is just that, just like Matt's thumbnail here. In today's culture, we often think of hamburgers as not being that healthy. And yet, look at the title, The Myth of Bad Food. And that's Contrarian, which is a person who rejects a popular opinion. Here, the opinion is maybe burgers aren't really so bad. You know, all these video examples, they're really simple and they're clear and the messaging behind the thumbnails and the titles are really easy to grasp. Just like Apple, just like Nike, just like these street signs. The message is easy to understand by a broad audience. You know, and that reminds me of the great movie, Boys in the Hood. The opening scene pans to a stop sign, which creates this amazing message. Stop the gun violence. And it sets the tone for the entire movie. The audience gets it. You wanna do the same thing. So I wanna give you a few basic tips and ideas about crafting and creating thumbnails. Now, if you're just getting started and you don't have a lot of graphic design skills, I would encourage you to let go of buying something like Photoshop and instead investing your money into great images and pictures that you can buy on the web. Now you can still do this for free. It's just about sourcing a great image and there are plenty of free image sites available online. You see, when you start with a great image, it's so much easier to create a great thumbnail that gets clicked all the time. For example, I went to this image site here. I typed in dogs and look at these amazing images that would make fantastic thumbnails. Now this next step is super powerful. You've identified the keyword phrase you're gonna target. You wanna search for that particular phrase and take a screenshot on your phone, on an iPad, on your desktop. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the thumbnail you make for the video you're working on and you're simply gonna put that on top of another video, just like you're seeing me do right now. So here's the original screenshot of how to get more views on YouTube. And here's the screenshot with my thumbnail and I feel it's pretty good, but honestly, I don't like the red because Dan Locke is using red as well. 
So what I did, and this is this is kind of cool. It's another little uh, hack for you or trick. I went to this image site right here, completely free, and I was able to change the red color to a yellow. And this is the result I got. Can you believe that? I mean, literally, I bought the image. <laughs> and you know what? That's how I made that thumbnail. I bought the image at 123rf.com. And this is not sponsored. This is because I want you to do well. YouTube Masterclass, link in the description. And there's one more important thing. You see, something happens to far too many good YouTubers during the upload process. And sadly, this is the thing that keeps them stuck, struggling, and unable to grow their YouTube channel. This video on the screen right now really identifies what that is and what you can do to ensure it doesn't happen to your video and channel. Click and watch that video now. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Click on the yellow B to the G icon to do just that. And when you do, you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?